Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Brie from With Love Brie, and today I am back with another haul. This haul video is from Concord and Knight, um, and I'm super excited because this is my first order with them. But um, I did great, find some great deals. Um, I definitely uh, do recommend you guys check them out because I did grab a lot of things for a great deal. I did choose a lot of their inks because again, I wanna get into card making. So I did buy more inks for my stash. So I'm gonna go ahead and just show you guys. Um, I've never tried their inks before, but I've heard great things on YouTube. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, so I do have like the prices on here. So I'll tell you guys what the prices are for the items. But um, here are all the things. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom in so you guys can see when I put the product down a little bit better. Um, don't mind the crusty nails too. Um, they are pretty beat, <laughs> but we'll go ahead and just get started. I'll show you guys the inks first. Okay, so for the inks, they are each six ninety five, um, which is just a regular price for inks. It's about the same as Stampin' Up, which I also ordered a lot of their inks from, and then I did get a bunch of the um, archival inks from Hobby Lobby and a couple other things. But anyway, I'm super excited. So. Um, We'll go ahead and get started. I got the Peacock ink. I got Sorbet. Eggplant. Evergreen. Grapefruit. Honeysuckle. glass aqua sky ballet slipper and clover and um i have the stampin up um stampin up inks which i'll probably insert a little clip of them if i can Hey y'all, so I just wanted to quickly share with you guys the Stampin' Up! Um, ink pads that I got. So, as y'all can see, I have them all right here. Those are all Stampin' Up! Um, ink pads, and they are a little bit larger than the Concord and Ninth ones, but I have those, and then I have the archival inks from Hobby Lobby. These ones are from Hobby Lobby, which I believe are the... I think I meant to... No, first the color. First color, and you guys can see they're still packaged up in their plastic packaging, but um, these ones came with the labels, as y'all can see. And I do need to get another stand because I'm running low on spaces, but that's how that all looks. And I am moving, so this is not going to be the way it is, but that's how that looks for now. Um, we'll go ahead and get continue on with the haul, um, just to show you guys how those ones look. But, um, yeah, because I don't think I put my haul out on those. But here are those inks. And then I also grabbed a marmalade. And a Stardust. And they do have more colors. I picked up most of them. But I didn't grab some of the ones that I do already have. Um, well, not already have. But I guess I have some of those colors, like, from another company. And I didn't want to, like, grab it. And then they're pretty similar. So... I just went ahead and I grabbed some of the inks that I felt like I needed for my collection. And so that's what I have here. Um, and so that is that. So um, on top of the inks, I was able to grab a lot of um, like dies and stamps. If you guys know Concord and Ninth or like familiar with them, they do sell um, dies and stamps. Um, I did pick up this adhesive remover. I thought it was so um, awesome that it was like in a lighter color. Usually it's like a gummy like brown color. Um, I have like a mini one right here to show you guys. But um, yeah, I had these mini ones. I have like nine of them or something in my collection. <laughs> and they're just the mini ones of the large ones that everybody has. 
I did not cut it up or anything. It's just how it came. But as you guys can see the difference, this one's white. Um, I don't mind these, but I don't know. I'm, I'm a very, like... Uh, like when it comes to my tools just like i want it to look cute and pretty i don't know I, that's just me i know some people don't care but um, i thought the white just would go with my room better of course i'm not going to throw these away and i'll still use it but for the price it was great a uh, great deal i think it was like 295 for it um or 275 for one of them so and it goes a long way so definitely worth the buy all right and then um, from their last chance section, which I checked out, I picked up the Just Wanted to Stay stamp set. This was $3 from $10. So there was $10 off. I mean, $7 off, sorry. And it just has like a little like sentiments. It says, I just wanted to say congrats, hi, hey there, you're my favorite, and thanks. And I thought these were perfect for card making and also for friend mail. Um, I think that it would be really cute to stamp on cards and stuff, so got that. And then I also got the Gem Turnabout. Oh, this one was a gem bundle, so it was $5.70 from $19, so that's a great deal. Um, you get a die set and a stamp set for 5 bucks, and um, it used to be 19 So this is the stamp set. You get uh, these little sentiments that says, all of the time you are a gem um, or you sparkle and shine so you can combine those um, and then they do have some little separate gemmies here little um, like rhinestones and then they have the little um, like shining uh, what are those like elements and then the heart sorry I just woke up from a nap and Kalea is napping now <laughs> so I'm like still kind of waking up but um, I found this out my door and yeah the this part right here is a full stamp and um, the turnabout stamp I believe is like you can create backgrounds and so yeah you can stamp it three times or four times and create a whole background and there's like a stent or like a template on the back that you could use for that and then this is the die it comes with the gem die and I thought it was more uh, worth it if I got this stamp and the die set together. Um, I think they sold them separately too, and they were on sale. And this says your gem. You can um, cut that out on the gem, or you can use the two pieces and do the layering. And then I also got this one, which is the Cool Treats die, and it is a popsicle uh, die set. And I thought this was so cute. Um, you can create like little popsicle cards or embellishments um there is a smaller popsicle here you can make an ice cream cone and you can also um, emboss sweet into the ice cream or like the little mini ice cream cone i'm pretty sure it'll fit on that or not ice cream cone but popsicle and this is how it looks so that's how the stitch word die looks and I just thought it would be really cute to make summer like cards or even like a really large embellishment. So I grabbed that die. And then the, that one, the Cold Treats die was $4.80 and it was $16. So and again, a great deal. So $4 for that from um, $16. And then I also got this Holly Jolly die. Oh, this one was from um, $8. It was $2.40. So $2.40 from $8, and this was Holly Jolly. So you can use the banner alone, which is awesome. So I thought that was really fun to use or have, so I could use that. Um, it also has like the little embossing, so you can um, fold the little ends in. And then you can um, optionally put in the Holly Jolly and die cut it there, and then back it with some paper, or even just cut out the Holly Jolly and then use the letters separately and glue them on. It's up to you, but... Yeah, I got two dollars for that, or like three bucks, two forty. And then I also got the Jolly stamp set, or sorry, the Jolly die, and this one was three sixty, and it was nine dollars. So this one says, uh, "Let's be Jolly," and the "Let's be" is in a little banner, and then the Jolly is in this um, cursive font or like uh, calligraphy, and. Um, you can use them separately again, so if you want to just use the Jolly or have 
the let's be jolly together you can do that and i thought this would be fun for some mail not just for cards i was thinking of trying to get as much use as i can out of them the dies that i picked up and i thought these would be perfect for some mail like you can hang or die cut them and send them out to your pen pals so they can use them on their own projects so again i got this one here and that's what it looks like and again for this one it was 360 from nine bucks And the last couple dies, I got the Mary, and this was $3.20 from $8. And again, it's the same thing. Um, I just wanted it for the the word. Um, you can't go wrong with just like word dies. And again, you can send a bunch of these die cut it or out to your pen pals, or you can use them on cards, even scrapbook pages, Project Life. So I got the Mary and the Let's Be Jolly um, die for last chance in the last chance section and then i did also grab this one which i'm super excited about um this one is a season of cheer dies and um it was 14 dollars, but it was on sale so from 28 it was 50 percent off and it was 14 bucks and i just really love it because i love the little sentiments again you can use these on some mail and um these are the dies it says uh, like you could put season of thanks, greetings, um, season greetings. There's a big cheer. Again, you can use these uh, season season and cheer like on two separate things. There's of that you can cut out too. Um, and then there's tis the season to you. Um, there's an S here, so you could put cheers to you, holiday to the new year and sending you blank and then it has like a holly leaf some berries and some other leaves but i just thought it was really cute again for cards but you can again if you want to send a little banner send a die cut word and a couple of colors of pattern paper or pattern or like just solid card stock and send it to your pen pals and they can use it on some mail or if they want to make cards they can use them too so i got that one and then the last couple of things I did pick up the little, um, what is this, the labels for my ink pads. So these are the colors here and I just got the whole set so as you guys can see I didn't really get the grays or the um, brown color because I think I got it from a Stampin' Up already like a tan khaki color. Um, but these are how they look and I think the marmalade has changed because there's a new one here so they probably had to like just because of the one color they just made a bunch of marmalades and stuck it in the packaging so i think that's the one that we use now but this is how those look and these were two bucks so um with the stampin up ones they do come with the ink pads though um when you buy them these ones you have to buy separately which is not bad because either way if you buy the whole thing of ink sets um you can just use or save it and then use it when you buy it and then the last thing i got was full price i could have gotten this on scrapbook.com because it was on sale on scrapbook.com but since i was placing an order with concord and ninth um i ordered it there i originally saw this on scrapbook.com and went on concord and ninth because i was so curious so that's basically why this stamp or this die set is why i went on the website and I, of course, ended up buying all these things. But again, I got it for a great price for these dies. Um, but this one was 24 bucks. I think it's like 23 something on scrapbook.com. But it's the Rainbow Stitches and String dies. Um, a lot of us are making those like wrapped um, rainbows, like the string rainbows. I forgot what those are called. I don't know. I can't think right now. But basically, that's what this is. And um, you can create them out of paper. So I thought these would be perfect to make little like um, rainbow embellishments out of the dies and to create some embellishments for some happy mail. And they just are they're really cute. Um, of course, these are using like the colors from their like cardstock which they sold out of some of the cardstock so I didn't want to get the cardstock I was going to but I didn't because they were sold out of some of the colors I wanted but um yeah you can definitely make some embellishments which I might do a just like a quick 
little process video of me making some just to show you guys how they look. But yeah, I'm super excited for this dye. Um, I usually don't spend this much on a dye set, but I just thought it was so cute. And I know it probably won't go on sale more than what it is on scrapbook.com. So that's what I grabbed from here. And then that was it from Concord and Ninth. Super excited that I was able to grab those things. Probably won't buy like from them like I did today or like this with this order. Because I still order from scrapbook.com for the Concord and Ninth. But definitely check them out if you guys would like to grab some of the dies. The holidays are coming, so I thought these Christmas dies um, are perfect to have in the stash. But I hope you guys um, have a great day, whatever day it is that you guys are watching this. If you guys are interested in the link, I'll link down the website down below. And I'll also link down my Instagram and stuff down below as well if you're interested. Um, but yeah, hope you guys have a great day, and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.